Hey guys, how's it going? It's Anon, and I'm back with another video. And uh, I haven't seen too many comments on this yet. Um, so, or actually not so, uh, I have a new idea. Well, not a new idea, but um, a different idea. I looked at Trunk Base. <laughs> um, I don't really want to use it for, uh, uh, what should we call it? for really well really anything i'd rather not use it at all but um i want to start a mining base i don't even need this okay uh yeah i wanted to start a mining base and i didn't want it to be just for mining so i decided i was going to uh, build a skeleton uh, grinder on it so i have located a nearby uh skeleton spawner i haven't well actually i haven't gone to it yet but i will be going to it tunneling down maybe building a little mining elevator i don't know i, I do eventually want to put a slime elevator in i think like a slime block thing yeah you guys know what i'm talking about i just need one more come on come on, come on. there we go Can I not jump this? Yeah, well, whatever. Endermen have been trolling me. Okay, now let's see. I have the coordinates written down here. It's at 257.52.235. So I need to go this way. And that way. Okay, so we'll cross the bridge and go... By the way, um, off camera, I decided to clean this area up a bit, ended up doing what I wanted to do, and uh, I blocked this off, kind of made it a little shore there, and then I brought this in here, and I'm probably going to go trim it around like that, uh, but I haven't decided yet. I might uh, actually make that a little bit smaller, but that was roughly, um, what am I doing? That was roughly, you know, size. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Did I got my lead? Yeah, we're good. We're going on an adventure, young one. Okay, so 257 actually is really close. Oh, wait. This is actually really close. 235. And there's just 10 blocks in this direction. Okay, well, hold up. And I picked specifically um, uh, skeleton because that just makes sense. Okay. Let's eat. And then I guess we'll start heading down. So uh, where was I? 235, which is this block here. 257. Okay. Uh huh. I'm just gonna quickly torch this. Because I covered it without even uh, thinking about that. I wanna eliminate. And I, I mean, I don't really think it matters, but I do wanna eliminate the. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, big brain time. The thing. Is it right here? 257, yeah. So right here, we're going to spiral down, not using our netherite pickaxe. Um, and yeah, we're going to build a skeleton grinder. I want to have a base on top of it. And uh, it's at negative 57, which is really good for uh, um, diamonds, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's in the minus 60s, but... It's close enough that it'll be a short little dig. And, uh, it'll make a good mining base. I was going to clear out the, uh, <laughs> mine shaft that we started, or that I started. And, uh, I realized that that is a lot of work. So I'm going to wait until, um, maybe a little bit of a creeper farm or some source of gunpowder. Obviously a creeper farm is a little bit, um beyond my ability right now but actually not really but 
I just don't know how. I say but a lot. Cool. So yeah, I'm just going to spiral the staircase down into this mob spawner and I will be back. <laughs> Just another 15 blocks down. Do I hear a cave? This must be the cave. chests in there okay There's a lot of skeletons down there. Oh, 
Okay. We made it out of there nice and easily, nice and safely. Um, the only thing is, is that I have to... Hello? Okay. Silk Touch! Oh my gosh, that is beautiful news. Okay, where did Mr. Creeper go? There he is. Huh. Oh well. Okay, now we got a cave to explore as well. So I'm gonna quickly drop some stuff off. Oops, there. <clears throat> okay. And there's an extra two buckets. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, so I think maybe I'll get started on this first and then, um, yeah, I'll be back. All right, so doing a little bit of work here. Um, I have no food, um, but I do, I am able to make a hopper now. And uh, the reason why we would want a hopper is because, actually I can't get down there anymore. So I blocked it off. Um, 
Here, we're gonna create a new way down. Whoops. Freaking bat. Uh, yeah, we also need some more cover, cover blocks. We use the roof there. We also use it in the floor. Um, yeah, let's just do this really quickly. So yeah, it's working. It's just because it's on bedrock, it's kind of tricky right now. Okay, I need a lava blade. Okay, now I should be able to let this go. Hopefully. That's uh, an issue. Okay, let's just eat this rotten flesh, I guess. Hmm. I think I actually need to drop down a block. <gasps> ah! Oh shit. Actually, I don't want to play back for yet. <clears throat> In case our hopper will go here. As you can see, the lava blade is working fantastically. Uh, lava blade will go. Or, er, lava blades are already in place. Hopper will go there, facing a double chest going here. And now I need out. Let's go craft the chests. Yep. Then we're good to place the chests. Let's do this. One chest, two chests. That should work. Yep. So now, flowing through here. And then let's grab these slabs. And I guess we can go like that. Or hmm. <laughs> I know there needs to be a block here. And that works. Okay, sweet. Let's get rid of this. And then we can put this back in place. Take our stuff out. And we have our first fully automatic farm. And it's not nothing special, but you know what? It works very nicely. And it's a nice it's a it's a good start to our uh mining base. Which I know is a very weird and very different thing, but I've always liked having mining bases in my world. Um, it just makes the world... You get different areas to go to, right? Like, here I can just go and mine. But if I felt like building or, you know... Obviously my home base is still going to be my home base, but... Um, this will be something nice and easy to work on as well, right? Because I can kind of go by year. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to just clear this real quick. Um, we're going to need a room to get down there. Or stairs, rather. Because this is just not going to cut it. Um, and yeah. I also want stairs going this way and this way. To get on top of the farm. And also to get down here so I'm also gonna do that 
And another thing that's really, uh, really nice about working underground, especially uh, with Deep Slate, is the fact that all of the material that I'm using, I'm not even like really farming for. It's just all here. So I'm just like, yeah, man, this is what I'm in for. I love building underground bases. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to just plug away at this some more. And I'll All right, back. guys. So unfortunately, um, a good chunk of the last little bit of video is not uh, very good, which is unfortunate. I, I don't really plan out these episodes all that well. I, I tend to kind of just do whatever. And sometimes I do stuff um, and just record it, not really talking much, which was the majority of the footage. So um, for the next you know, five, ten minutes, I'm just going to kind of go over uh, what we did, or what I did, I guess, uh, off camera. So, uh, after doing a lot of digging and stuff like that, I decided it was time to take a break. So I used uh, the birch logs and some of the oak to make this, a little uh, fishing shack. I don't know why it's so laggy right now, but it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, got a little fishing shack here with some barrels, nothing in them, a cauldron as, as a little sink, I guess. A little table with chairs here. I think it's pretty nice. And then I actually really like this kind of support beam up here. Um, it's for a loft bed right here. And I, I know it kind of looks weird, but you don't really notice it all that much, especially down here. As you walk in, you don't, like, you can see a little bit, like, uh, right there, if you're walking straight in. Notice a little bit, but uh, this house isn't going to have too much function. It's just going to have, you know, maybe some storage for some fish, fishing rods, stuff related to that. So, let's go over here. I am hungry again. Okay, let's just quickly flip around. And that's what it looks like. I did all the stuff all the way down to dirt. Um, it's all stripped. Did oak for the bottom, so it kind of looks like it was just sitting there soaking. And, uh, it makes it look like it's been there for a while. And I think it adds a little bit of a variance in texture, which is nice. Or more variance in color, but it's still nice in my opinion. And then I got all these you know, open spots for you to park your boat and whatnot. Kind of like how that's all open there. But uh, now I get to show you guys the bottom and down here. Um, I I'm kind of proud of it. I, this isn't done yet. I still got to do this part and then some on this wall here. But it goes right down. I don't know if that was in the video, but that's there. And then we also have a bubble column going all the way up. As you can see, I don't want to go up though. It does go all the way up. And glass pane so you can walk in and out, but it also holds that all in. Aha! I still got to dig out the ceiling here, but my pick's about to die, and so is my diamond pick. But um, I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. We got some wheat growing. That's where the bread came from. Uh, some warp trap doors and some shroom lights. I went to the nether, chopped down a few of those. I also got some nether warp blocks. Or... Weren't... Warped blocks? Warped warp. There we go. Sorry, I got a bit of a... I don't know if it's gas or what. Um, got some copper smelting. Some barrels for storage. Lots and lots of furnaces. Uh, and then, yeah, the storage here. And then for the way down, I put the nether portal here. So that way if we ever, you know, do a... Well, I mean, we're going to do a big... Uh, what's it called? Nether hub. And then it'll come out here. The lighting is a little unfortunate. From the furnaces um, and the lava blade but this is the hallway down it looks pretty nice um, I gotta fill that in still I just realized but that's not a big deal and then uh, yeah this is the room for the collection and we got lots of bones and arrows which I am happy with whoops And, uh, yeah, so that's all I really need to show you. But I was also thinking about building a, um, uh, mini farm down here. 
for stuff like this and potatoes and whatnot. But I don't feel like clearing out more space, so I don't know if I should. They're pretty easy to build from what I understand. It's just a matter of actually doing it. Maybe we'll do it here. But I was thinking maybe putting a hallway there. So yeah, I guess we could go to the surface and build one there because I need some source of food. Chicken cooker is not doing very much for me. I tried putting more chickens in there, but I think there's uh, some entity cramming that's going on. So, and it's nighttime, lovely. Um, but yeah, the entity cramming is a bit of an issue. Um, it's also not like the best design. I could have two hoppers there for the chickens to sit on. Then I could theoretically have twice as many chickens in there. And it would obviously produce more food. But I don't have a lot of iron either. So I'm thinking next episode we can go caving. And then I also wanted to build a tree farm. Um, I saw a video today by Shark Shulkercraft. But um, it was someone else's design. And I really like it. I built it. It works. The only downside is that you don't get saplings, but I don't think that'll be an issue. I need to put a room up here. I forgot. Um, but yeah, that's our chicken supply right now. And I ended up finding like five uncooked chicken. So yeah, we also need to cover this up. So maybe one day I'll uh, kind of expand this building a little bit out either side and Make it look a little bit nicer because right now, not too, too happy with it. Like it looks okay, but it doesn't look quite as nice as this house. It, it doesn't even look as good as that. And that's just a shack. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking a tree farm and mining next episode. It'll get us some resources and set us up maybe for the episode after that, which will, uh, which would be a nice kind of, uh, bonus to not have to worry about doing that all the time i guess we can make some bread yeah here we go so, uh but yeah we got some food um trying to think if there was anything else i did off camera not really a eh? um yeah so oh we also have to finish this shoot oh hello skeleton give me your bow or not but, uh, yeah, this needs uh, a little bit of a trimming. I think I might honestly stop it there. So it has a bit more of a natural feel. But I, I also like the high ceilings. High ceilings kind of break the deal. It just looks so awkward how tall it is. I don't know. It's not too much demo if I do have to shrink it. Or if I do decide to shrink it, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Yes. But... Yeah, it's fine. I'm probably going to build more farms anyway. Like, not farms. Uh, barns. <laughs> farms and barns. Um, just in different areas. Because it'll fill up the village a little bit nicer. Which is the plan for this. So, uh, yeah. I also... Man, I, I need to take more pauses. Um, I also was thinking about maybe building a few more buildings in the near future. Not too many, just maybe, you know, one there, maybe one over there. Kind of want to put one there and there as well, but that might get in the way of the thing over there. But it could be like a, and it's raining, because why wouldn't it be? Um, oh, that's an Enderman. I was like, what the heck was that? But it was an Enderman. But I also wanted to put some like, like a port or something. I don't know, some sort of. I don't know, something, something in here. I don't want it just to be a big pond with nothing in it, you know? There needs to be some sort of purpose. Now, mind you, I did just build something that doesn't necessarily have a purpose, but um, I like to keep some purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course you do. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about this in the video, but... I did also do a little bit more mining on this. Not too much. Um, still got quite a ways to go. This was all copper too, by the way. Like all of it. All the way down here. And I was extraordinarily pleased. Especially since I was building with it. In the underground base. 
could strip these two, but it would be too close to that. Uh, sugar cane. Got lots of sugar cane. And, uh, yeah. So, I believe that ate up the 10 minutes. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I also wanted to give a massive shot, uh, shout out. That's three skeletons. Um, to a YouTuber named Prod Rhythman. He is the one that uh, created the music that he used for the time lapses in this video. And um, his music's free. If you guys are getting into YouTube and need some background music or for your streams or whatnot, anything sort of like that, definitely check him out. He does a lot of lo-fi beats, and I am a pretty big fan. I really like um, the music that I chose for the video. And, he's you know, it's just good, chill vibes kind of music. So if you guys are interested in that, check him out. I hopefully will remember to put a link to his channel in the description. And I'm just walking back and forth now because why not? Fine, you can have a piece of chicken. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Peace. Give me a woof before we go. Just one. One woof. Don't look at me like that. Come on. You know what? Actually, real quick before we end the video, I think I want to name him. So I don't have... I can't do that. Uh, no, it takes three iron blocks. God dang it. Okay, well, we're not naming him. Hopefully next episode after the mining, we will give this guy a name. Now, actually... Tell me, should I name him after my dog, Tucker? Or is there another name you guys want me to give him? And we'll also name the horse next episode too, so I better see some comments on that. Because uh, I've had this guy longer than the puppy and we have yet to give him a name. This diamond studded stud. <laughs> but yeah, once again guys, hope you enjoyed. Check out... Uh, Pro uh, Prodigy Ritterman, I'm assuming that's what the prod stands for. And, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Peace.